Hi, this is Paul Salt from iPhone Dev TV. I just want to share with you, Apple just launched the WatchKit APIs or the SDK, and you can start making some apps. Now it is a little bit rough around the edges, so if you're gonna be playing with this, be aware that Xcode will probably crash a couple times. Things won't work as you expect. I've already played around with it a little bit. The, the timer seems to have some limitations where it's not always updating. So there's some caveats as we work with this beta software, but I wanna give you a first look. So if you just go to the website up here, that's developer.apple.com slash watch kit, you can go ahead and get started and learn more about how you're gonna use watch kit and, and how to get started. Let me pull up my mouse and we're gonna scroll down here. So we have the ability to make a watch kit apps, glances and actionable notifications. All of these are actually included and uh, this is contrary to what I think developers were saying was gonna happen. They weren't sure that this feature was gonna be included, but it is. And there are gonna be some limitations as you're working with this, but you're just gonna scroll down on this website and you can go ahead and download the beta. This is Xcode 6.2. They will probably release another version that fixes some of the bugs until they're ready to release the, the final version later, uh, I guess next year. And then you can get the iOS beta if you wanna run that on your device. Now you do need to be a developer to get access to those. The other thing that you can do is you can download the watch design resources. You'll have to agree to some terms. You can't use the font that Apple includes for anything except a watch kit app. So that's something that you don't wanna tread on and, and do the wrong thing. And then we had the, the watch human interface guidelines, which are gonna tell you how to design your app the other two good things that you will want to read through are the WatchKit programming guide and the framework reference. The, the programming guide is pretty good. The framework reference is a little bit sparse, but there's some details in there. If you're going to work with the timer, that's a UI element in the, the WatchKit. There are some things that are only in the reference that you're going to need to take a look at. Beyond that, you can see some sample code that Apple has. There's this download right here, and then you can ask questions on the developer form. So without further ado, just go right here, log in, and then you'll be able to download Xcode. So the first download up here is for the current version, and here's the beta download. So you can download this. Now you'll just click this button and it should sign you in. I believe it's available to free developers. I'm not positive. And then if I go back, we can take a look at the release notes. This is super important to read over. When I was scrolling through here, it looked like there were certain issues that you could run into. So there's some known issues where things won't work. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at, at, at this information while it's downloading so that you have an idea of some potential workarounds for bugs in the current version. And that's pretty much it for getting started. Once you have it, you can open it up. Let me just minimize this and you'll have the Xcode version 6.2. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create a project that's gonna allow you to target WatchKit. It's not straightforward. So we're gonna jump through those hoops in the next video.